Hello guys. In today's video, we will explain how to install one of the best assets for learning Unity and explaining the basics. In previous tutorial we have created a new project, so first let open Unity Hub, and then open new project. I assume you have already created the account with Unity, so let log in. Click on the account dropdown, and select sign in. Enter your credentials. Now from the toolbar choose window, then package manager. Wait for Unity to load available packages. Then, type Logic Forge in the search. Then click download, and wait for the asset to be downloaded. Then click import to import the asset package in the scene. We need to do one more thing, and we are good to go. Unity by default sets the ancient.NET 2 API, but Logic Forge is using the newest.NET 4. So, from the toolbar choose Edit, then select Project Settings. From the list on the left select Player, and on the right scroll down and find under Other Settings Fold Out, API Compatibility Level Option. Change it to .NET 4X. Close the window and wait for Unity to recompile the asset. Every entity in Unity is a game object. In the sample scene, we have two game objects, the light, and the camera. We will add another game object in the scene, a cube, by right-clicking in the hierarchy window and selecting cube. When a game object in the hierarchy window is selected, the inspector window shows its components. Every game object has a transform component and or many other components. Every component has properties and functionality. For example, the transform component has a function to position, rotation, or scale game object. Now we will add Logic Forge specific component, Logic. Its functionality is to execute game logic designs we will make. As soon as we added the logic component, the logic editor window pop up. It will be our workspace for game logic designing. So, let create a game logic design file by clicking the new button, select name and place and save it. Rename the file to my design one. Cube has logic. We can see that the logic component is using our design file. Let add another logic component and another game logic design. We can have more logic components on the game object. We can switch between designs by changing selection in the Logics tab. OK, now let add a new formula component. Right click in the view and select Add Component and choose Formula. For simplicity, type A plus B. There are several ways to add components, by using the context menu most used, or search for more, dragging from the inspector or project window, through shortcuts, left mouse button hold with some key and combination. You can reposition the node by holding the left mouse button over the node's title and drag, 
you can click on the title to select the node and see its properties in the inspector window. You can access the additional option by right-clicking on the node's title. You can reposition the logic editor view by holding the Alt key and dragging it with the mouse. You can use the mouse scroll to zoom in or zoom out the node, or you can hold the left mouse button and press tab to focus view on the nodes. Now, add two local variables score, and points, of type float. We will have a separate video about variables and types, for now, let's say that variable is a value or object holder. They are called variables cause their value changes, for example, score at the start is 0 and when you hit some points, score will increase to let's say 5. So, let assign the value to the variables. Right click, and from the context menu select a set variable. Do, the same with the points variable, but as variable value enter 5. The circles on the left of the node are the input jacks or short inputs. The outputs are those on the right. You can click on the output and drag the connection. Now click and hold the left mouse button, over the score variable output and drag towards the formula node's title. Release the mouse button over the title. Input jack will appear and the connection is established. Do. The same with the points variable and create another connection that will auto-connect to the B parameter. We will add another component, called log, used for printing messages in the console window. Now click and drag from formula's calculated output jack and connect with the log node message input. What we have done. We are actually sending through this connection score variables value of zero to the formula nodes a parameter. There will be much clearer when we go and run the logic and there is a whole tutorial just on the formula component. So don't worry. Let make an analogy with a recording of sound on your PC. You connect your microphone to the PC's input jack to send voice data. Your PC has, in that case, functionality to save the sound. You have connected your speakers to the PC's output jack to listen to recorded sound. Similarly, we have made a connection to formula node inputs and we are sending value data. The formula has the functionality to make an addition. We are outputting the sum to the console. Let enable all the nodes and hit play. We can see that values from variables through connections go into the formula. They are summed and the sum is set as a message. The result can be seen in the console. That's all for now, folks. See you in the next tutorial. May the forge be with you.